So I'm going to try the Denman brush because apparently that brings out the curls. It's not. <laughs> Mud -mud, what's wrong with your hair? <laughs> Mud -mud's, hair Mud Mud's got fuzzy hair. Hi everyone, it's Mummy and Mud Mud. So we're back again. We're so happy to see you. Oh, we're so happy for you to see us. Um, and tonight we're very, very, you know, we're very um, informal. We actually have our onesies on because we're going to go to bed very soon. And today I just wanted to show you Mot Mot's mad mess and how we're going to sort that out. Uh. <laughs> so if you take a look at Mot Mot's hair, you can see that it's got all sorts of things in it, bits and pieces from um, gymnastics, from rolling on the floor, from playing with her brother. And look, look at that. That, that, that's, yeah, that's a mop, isn't it? That's an absolute mop. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, I used to look at hair like that and think I'm just going to have to cut bits off. Not only has it shrunken, it's just really uh, it's tangled. It's a uh, wild yeah, mess. It is really tangled. <laughs> I tried to put my my finger in, and I could barely do anything. Right, exactly. So we're going to show you tonight how we're going to turn that into a very, very manageable, um, very lovely um, hair that you're used to. So here we go. A friend of mine, an internet friend of mine, showed us how to make. Um, some cream out of shea butter. I mean, it's absolutely amazing and smells good. Mm. So you can see what it looks like, the cons consistency. It kind of, it's kind of like, um, uh, I don't know, what would you call that? It's very custody, if you can put it that way. So I'm gonna tell you what's in this um, and then we'll start, we'll use it and you'll see why it's so important and how you can turn this mark and this mess into something that looks so much better. So in here we have African shea butter. Um, so there are two things in the world, as far as I know, that do not spoil. Shea butter and, do you know the other one? Uh, eucalyptus oil? Mm, no, it's sweet. You can use it for your skin. You can eat it. Ooh, aloe vera. No, it's sweet. Honey. Honey. So honey doesn't what spoil. What do you use it for your body? What when you wake up at in the middle in the middle of the night with ants all over you? <laughs> so we put honey out of our body and then have ants all over us. Not like that. Not you just don't rub it on your body. We'll talk about that later, shall we? But we'll, you know you can put it on your face and then just wash it off, right? Right. Okay. So in here we've got shea butter. We've got um, um, conditioner. And we, what conditioner did we use for this? I uh, think it was. Uh, let's see. It was your favorite. This, my favorite. You've said it three times today, or four, or five. Oh, curlala! Curlala. So we we have some curlala in here. We have um, shea butter. We'll show. I'll you know I'll put in there how much of each we've actually used, and then we've got some um, tea tree oil. We've got you know the mix up. Uh, our mix. So basically, we've got a little bit of this, the castor olive oil. Okay, tea tree oil, grapeseed oil, mint oil, flaxseed oil, and eucalyptus oil. Right, so we've got a little bit of that. We put it in the shea butter, we put the curl la and leave in conditioner, and then we just took a, a whisk and just went zzzz, and then we uh, a, a cake a hand mixer and we just mixed it so you again you get that consist consistency i can't Ooh. say that word you get Tasty. that you get that consistency ah. goodness me <laughs> wait i think i got it for a second so you did get yeah it. exactly we, we're still trying to fix the lights please do forgive us oh, goodness <laughs> me. we'll get it one of these days um so that's the consistency and if i take a little bit out see what it looks like it's quite cute so what we're going to do is cute. we're going to i like that word cute so see this hair it is very manky is very tough 
And don't forget that Mod Mott's hair is actually quite long and it's very, very healthy. It's just that it's completely shrunken at the moment. And that's why we need Samantha's mix. I don't know what she calls it, but so if you if you look at this, turn turn back a little bit, baby. So if you look at that, it's very short, but when you take the shea butter, not much, take about that much, and you sort of so you put it in the hair like so i don't put too much to start with what it does is it starts to stretch the hair so shea butter naturally stretches hair i have learned and then we've got the curl a la in there as well which is uh, a leave-in conditioner which sort of softens your hair anyway and then we've got all the other healthy oils that we put in our hair as we've shown so when we put that in there it's it's absolutely amazing because when i would have my hair like this in the past i would spend hours and hours tweezing and trying to separate but i've come to realize now that with samantha's mix um it just honestly makes the hair so manageable so look at it like it's only been like what a few seconds do you see what it's doing to, to the hair does that hurt no okay do you see what what's happening to that so I'm going to do the whole head of hair and as usual I will do it and then I'll twist it um, the good thing about this is you can leave this on go to bed and then moisturize it it, it, it gives a, it's just very moisturizing you can leave it till the morning and then give it a good wash so we we'll put it in for a while um, I'll usually put a cap on just to you know let it like really really go into the roots and then we'll take the cap off wash the hair and then we'll put it back again to re-put back moisture into the hair right so yes. but look at it it's so soft does that feel soft now yes Ooh. Ooh. and it's not too oily you see my hand it's not too oily you know yeah, it it's, smells oh, and it amazing. smells amazing but that's the curl of isn't it because shea butter has its smell it doesn't so smell too does good it, now does it yeah but it, it but it doesn't it doesn't smell too bad either so it just it's has its own somewhere in the middle right it has its own smell so did i just scratch your neck no oh okay good it's actually really really nice and soft see much much softer than it was just a few seconds ago so i'm going to do that to the whole head and we'll be back something that looked like that and unmanageable and you know it's just completely tangled up a few seconds ago now actually looks like that so it's literally taken like two minutes to get it to untangle in that manner i mean i'm still gonna work it i've, I've worked it into it gently teasing gently but i've been able to twist the hair back that way see so it actually really really works and we're going to do the other side and again we'll be back As you can see the other side is detangled as well I mean it's it's not completely detangled but it's much softer it's much more manageable and you can do a heck of a lot more with it now than you could before so as you can see it's not as tight and tough as the, the top now is it's you can put your hands through it you can feel the softness you can tease it apart now ever so gently but this guys this really really works this really really works remember how tough this was to start with but if you look at it now it's I mean it's literally seconds and you're able to grab the base of the hair just like that and it doesn't hurt does it because I don't have to stress around at all um, so I just take a little bit like I've been doing and I sort of tease it gently like so and you can see it just really 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 super moisturizes and so we've got that one over there we've got this one over here which you're going to tuck it a little bit 
and we've got this one back here which we're going to tuck in tuck this one in two and then we've got this last one which i'm going to twist and then we'll be good to go twist and tuck okay so now we're done and I've made it into four buns. I've just tucked them in. Um, at first I was going to carry on tonight and actually do the washing and get onto the start of today, but we're actually not going to do that. I think we're going to leave the, um, um, the shea butter mixture in her hair until tomorrow. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a shower cap on it and then tie it with a scarf like we usually do or put a bonnet on it and let the shea butter marinate and go into the hair and so it's nice and soft by the morning when we wash it and you would have to wait to, to see what we do with it while we're waiting for the um, shea butter to marinate into the hair we're going to show you something courtesy of Fefe's Kitchen and it is this absolutely wonderful healthy nice great tasting drink that we're going to enjoy so this drink is really really good for hair growth it's very healthy for the different organs in your body and so we're going to enjoy a glass but if you want to find out what's inside this drink you're going to have to check out Fefe's Kitchen. Yep, you're going to have to find, um, check out Fefe's Kitchen. The next episode is coming up in a few days um, and you will see what makes this drink, but it's super healthy. As you probably remember, we're, we're very, we're a very healthy family. We like to eat really healthily. Um, we don't eat um, sugar, at least not cane sugar or anything like that. And so um, check out Fefe's Kitchen if you want to see what's inside this drink. But it's, uh, it's amazingly good for your hair and it tastes really good. Cheers. So I've got a shower cap that I'm going to put over Mutt Mutt's hair just because we don't want the oils to get all over the pillows but at the same time we want the heat to really you know put the shea butter and all the moisturization into her hair okay so now we're going to put our scarves on because like i said we're going to bed oh actually before we go to bed look at my hair i haven't really done anything with it i've just twisted and left it like that but look look my hair is grown it's really grown so i usually just pack it to the back i don't know much with it because i really just want to leave it to grow properly but then again we're going to put our scarves on because it is that time when we go rest our very 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 weary bodies are you putting your scarf on yeah and again we try to use um <laughs> satin scarves or silk scarves these ones aren't actually satin or silk but they just match <laughs> they just match so we're going to put those on for the night and go to bed doesn't have to look come on get them through <laughs> Doesn't have to look nice or smart or anything like that. We're just going to bed, right? So, <laughs> on a normal day, we use bonnets as well. So, but I'm going to. This... Oh, I like my scarf. Okay, Huck Mutt Mutt scarf always ends up looking nicer than mine. Ah. Okay, so we will see you in the morning. Bye. Good night. 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 Good night.